Virginia Street Bridge has been a pillar of downtown Reno for 110 years now, but work is about to begin to replace the aging structure. Construction will start Tuesday, but it'll be a few more weeks before crews start removing the bridge. Paul Nelson has a look at the groundbreaking ceremony for the new bridge that was held today. Downtown Reno has changed quite a bit since 1905, but one thing has been a mainstay, the Virginia Street Bridge. There's actually some really great history. Part of the Misfits was filmed right here with Marilyn Monroe, so we're actually going to take some of the pieces of the bridge and make sure that we can um, preserve them. The new bridge will cost more than $18 million to build and several million more have already gone into its planning. One thing you won't see is a center pier that causes problems during floods when debris builds up on it. It's timber, it's bush, it's, it's brush that comes through there that, that blocks everything up. The stability of the Virginia Street Bridge is also an issue. The concrete is crumbling and cannot support the capacity that it used to. We're looking at the truck over there and uh, we can't put buses on it. We're worried that they'll fall through the bridge. That's, a, that's how bad it is right now. Three. Current and former city council members were on hand for today's groundbreaking ceremony that's been 10 years in the making. To look out in the audience and see so many people that have played such a critical role in this bridge is really outstanding, but it kind of shows you how a community can come together and really get something done that's monumental. Officials say the replacement of this historical bridge is just one more example of revitalizing downtown. We are definitely seeing changes in downtown Reno, both with our infrastructure as it, as it ages out, but also in the way we build projects today and bringing the community to develop to, together. Plans include access from Reno City Plaza to the Truckee River that also had public input. To look at some of the design elements and the art that goes into these projects, and I think that's what's going to make this project very successful for us. Covering the story, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News. Now, this construction project means pedestrians and drivers will have to take alternate routes. Of course, businesses on the Virginia Street and along the project will remain open. Officials are hoping the new bridge will be completed by next May.